Today's video is going to be about ways to send free satellite TV signals to more than one receiver, either using one of these, a multi-output LNB, or one of these, a satellite signal splitter. So on a couple of my dishes, I use these types of LNBs. This is a dual output LNB, so it's got two ports on it, which means you can send the signal to two different receivers or two different buildings if you want. And there's also this option. Uh, this is a quad output LNB, and uh, it has um, four output ports on it. So you could potentially send this to four different receivers, uh, maybe four rooms in a house or four different buildings if you wanted. This is the type of LNB we see on most dishes, a single output LNB. So if you want to split this signal, you're going to have to find a different way if you want to send this to say two different receivers or two different rooms. And uh, that's where a splitter can be helpful because splitters are pretty much available at any hardware store. And uh, dual and quad output LMBs are not that easy to come by, at least not in a timely fashion. And here I'm just uh, showing you uh, one of the splitters I use outside. So we have one single line coming from that single LNB and it splits off into two output lines. One is going to my house and one's going into my garage and that's for a KU band dish. Here's another example here. This splitter is actually connected to a C band dish and I've got that signal split going again into my house and into my garage. And as a little extra, this splitter gets connected to a dissect switch. This is an eight by one dissect, meaning that you have uh, up to eight satellites coming into this switch and only one cable going out, which makes it really easy to bring a lot of satellites uh, into a building on one cable. And I have done a video on these. If you're interested, you can check my uh, channel for that. And of course, you can't just use any old TV splitter. You have to use a satellite signal splitter because uh, they have a uh, much wider bandwidth. So even after uh, an LNB has down converted a satellite signal to a frequency that's more suitable for traveling through coax cable, the splitter still allows the full signal to pass uh, without any signal loss. Okay, here we're looking at a couple of splitters that are most appropriate for an antenna TV system. Antenna TV signals uh, are transmitted on lower frequencies, so that's why these uh, splitters have a narrower bandwidth. If you connected your satellite coax to these, you would probably get almost no channels. One other thing to note is that uh, using splitters uh, definitely doesn't mean you're using more cable. In, in fact, it probably means you're using less because you'll be bringing one single cable, say, into a building, unless you're doing the splitting outside, of course. And uh, that probably ends up saving on coax instead of running uh, one, two, three, or four uh, coax runs from all the way from the dish uh, to different locations. So you may end up actually using less cable uh, with splitters, but every situation is different though. So to wrap this video up, splitters are a viable alternative to multi-output LNBs, with splitters being probably much more readily available and cheaper. Um, there's more than one way to get your satellite system going without too much specialized equipment. And later on, you can always spend the money and upgrade if you really want.